Okay, so you just bought a new Venus flytrap and you wanna know what do I do with this plant the first week to make it super happy? Well, the good news is, is that if you bought it from a reputable place, like say, California carnivores, where we specialize in carnivorous plants, you do not need to repot it. Please don't repot it, you're just gonna shock it up more. If you did buy it from a big box nursery or a place where you really are suspicious of the soil, it is probably worth it to repot it. Go ahead and do it into a mix of four parts fertilizer free peat moss to one part perlite, or you can use long fibered sphagnum moss. That's a mix a lot of people like. Now, when it comes to sun, in most places, these are full sun plants. So the best way to get them used to that is actually to do it a little bit slowly if you want to reduce um, burn and, and you know the shock of the acclimation. So you can start off with full morning sun for a few weeks and then transition them into the full sun. Now I already know that Arizona, you're going to start commenting and you're going to ask me about that. If you're in Arizona, stay with full morning sun no matter what. Extremely hot, extremely dry places, you're going to want to keep these in morning sun only. But in a place like we are in Northern California in zone 9B, you're gonna to be totally fine to grow these outdoors. So transition them slowly to full sun. And you are probably gonna notice some of the leaves are gonna turn black and die back. That's totally normal. You can see one right here. So Venus flytraps, carnivorous plants in general, have kind of a high leaf turnover, meaning their leaves die back pretty frequently, but that's okay because so many new leaves are already growing. I don't have to worry. So when you get your plant, unpack it, Put it in the full morning sun, make sure it's sitting in a really deep saucer of distilled rain or reverse osmosis water, and just watch and wait. You'll notice that new leaves will start to grow even as the old leaves might die back. And as long as you're seeing that new growth, that new growth is really happy and ready to grow in your environment. So just take it slow and it should grow really happily. All right, I hope that that helps. If you have any more questions, you know what to do. Comment and I will, get to, I will answer your questions.